Welcome to the Backyard Office. Today, I'm gonna to show you three crazy hacks to use SEMrush to find tons of keywords that'll drive massive traffic to your website. Trust me, you're gonna to wanna to pay attention to this entire video. What are you talking about, man? You can't make money on the internet. I wanna see some proof. Show me some proof. All right, so a little over a month ago on March 26, I put this video up where I actually outsourced an article to get ranked on Google. And the keyword you could see here that we went for was Newegg Affiliate Program. This is a keyword that actually gets some traffic and it's people who want affiliate marketing, so it's perfect for my website. You could see here where I actually paid for the article to get written. And then a couple of weeks later, this thing started showing up on the top of Google, number nine. And just so the skeptic guy doesn't get mad, I'm gonna bring you over here to my Linux system, which I don't log into any accounts on. And I'm gonna pull up Google here and show you that it actually is ranking. And you could do this yourself and check it out. And you could see here, we're actually number eight without logging in. Take that, skeptics. And you could see here, according to SEMrush, it's actually getting picked up for even more keywords, which is actually pretty cool. And the key to making this work is finding low or no competition keywords, which I'm gonna show you a really cool tactic here on this video. But again, make sure you watch the entire video so you get the aha moment and you see how the whole thing works. Here's another video I did about 11 months ago where a student actually copied the example in the video and got ranked on Google with his Medium post. You can see he's got some rankings here, he's getting some traffic, it's actually pretty cool. And just about a week ago, I showed you how to buy expired domain names for profit, and I found this domain name here, howtoaid.com, and I found out it has a lot of backlinks and actually some Google rankings, not to mention GoDaddy says it's worth like 1159 bucks. And you can see here, I paid a whopping $8.46 for it. I buy and sell these all the time. I rank sites all the time. I actually practice what I preach here on the channel, and I show you the real world stuff that actually works. And even a $100 per sign up, simple affiliate method. You can see here, I've been using that method, and so far, I've made almost $200,000 with it. So yeah, this stuff works. But I gotta tell you, the results are not typical, implied, or guaranteed. The average person trying to do this stuff flails around and actually ends up making nothing. But I think if you follow along, start binge watching my channel, check out the videos, you'll start to learn the tactics that I've used for the last 21 years to make a living from the comfort of my backyard office. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna wanna do is go over to Marcus Campbell trigger word list. If you just type in Google Marcus Campbell trigger words, this'll come up. You're gonna see a big list of trigger words that you can put into your keyword tool that's always, without fail, going to find non-competitive keywords. For example, we can go through and use the word drain or enhance or estimate or conversation or codes or anything like that, and we can actually take these and we can put them into our SEM keyword rush, SEM rush keyword tool, right like this, and we can see exactly what comes up. And you can go here and click on all keywords, and you'll find out that there's actually a lot of keywords that have to do with calculator. And as you go through, you're gonna find stuff that's pretty non-competitive. What we want is stuff that's like below a 50% KD here, and you'll be able to find all kinds of different things like that in a really simple way. Right, so we could go through and see that there's actually a lot of keywords like bail bond calculator that only has 38 KD. And this is actually tying into a very expensive market. Now you wanna pay attention to this because we want low competition, which also doesn't have that much volume. So there's not a heck of a lot of people searching for this, but this leads into something that's actually really expensive where you could go out there and sell leads to bail bonds people or whatever it is, right? There's all kinds of other stuff like mortgage calculators, uh, loan calculators, all kinds of different things that you can use and get lots and lots of traffic. Now for this example, we're actually using an expired domain name. So I wanna find out what this domain name actually ranks for. This is very important. 
And we could go through and take a look using the Ahrefs keyword tool because they have a little bit older of a database. So I could see some of the older rankings. We can see some of the rankings that this site has like Norton Autofix Error, Error 8504, and all kinds of different errors and things like that. And I could even go in and look at the movements and see what used to rank, right? So we could go through and take a look at what this site used to be about and what the backlinks are doing. Now, we can also go in with our SEMrush keyword tool and we could take a look at some of the backlinks and where they lead. This is extremely important because I could see here, there's a page for AOL mail login or HP error printer, something like that. We can also see HP support, certain error codes, and all kinds of things like this that'll make it really easy to get ranked for because they already got backlinks coming in. So we can go in, put this thing up, and bam, we're gonna get traffic in a really easy way. And we can also go over to index pages and see some of the indexed pages that are showing up for this particular site. This is very important because we wanna start to build these out. Again, I'm gonna put the link in the description for my buying and selling expired domain names so you can see how this whole thing works. Oh look, that other site I had made another sale while I was recording this video, and now we're even closer to 200,000. Now, what we're gonna do is find a seed keyword. A seed keyword is a word in your market that's not that competitive. So the example of the bail bonds one would be great. For this site, an example would be something like Norton Error 8504. What we wanna do is wanna find all the people that did all the work for us to find the non-competitive keywords. It's actually pretty easy. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna scroll down and find websites that are about this topic of errors or computer errors. We could see here we have Appalls, PC Supremo, Windows Support, Get Contact Help, and on and on we go. We're gonna make a list of these websites. I usually like to make my list right like this in Notepad. So we're just gonna copy some of these sites here, right like this, and put them into our Notepad, right like this. We don't need the WWs or anything like that. We just need a nice list right like this. And we're even gonna go to page two to see if there's any others. So we got Board World, Error Vault. This, this is probably a great one here, errorvault.com, right like this. And we'll just line these up right like this. We also got ANV support. Put that right here like this. errors doc. We got six good domains. Let's go. Let's go back to SEMrush and take a look at these bad boys. Now, what we're going to do in SEMrush is we're actually going to do a domain research on something like Norton Error or whatever sites we came up from or whatever sites we came up with. So we could use something like PC Supremo, type that in like this, and we could go down to the organic keywords click on view details, and we can organize them by the competition. So the difficulty here and the KD here. And you can see when we sort them by KD, we have lots and lots of keywords with lots of traffic that are actually pretty non-competitive. And we could go through and do all kinds of like Norton stuff, antivirus stuff, and we could generate a lot of traffic to our website using these long tail and non-competitive keywords in a really easy way. Then we could go through and do this with the other domains, and this is where it's gonna start to compound and get really, really good, where you're gonna find tons of keywords. Here we can see some of the keywords for this Windows Report one. We could go through to Error Vault, which is gonna be a pretty good one because it's all about errors, and it's very important that when you do this, you use websites that are all about the topic that you are trying to get people for. So we have Facebook errors and all kinds of stuff here. We can go through, take a look at contact help, and on and on we go. And what you're gonna wanna do is pull out the keywords that are very easy to rank for. Again, a lot of people talk about SEO and getting ranking and how it takes six months to a year to see anything, but you guys saw I got results pretty fast, and when I use my expired domain method, it's even faster than that. So we could see here, get help, uh, contact help, 
Uh, got a few rankings there. We have ANV support. We can put that in there. And again, you're going to find lots and lots of keywords that you can use, but you just have to think about it differently than the other people because other people are going to go out there and just promote one product. We're going to go out there and find stuff that's very, very specific. For example, the AT&T people that are complaining about AT&T, maybe we can get them into different internet or phone service or whatever it is, or PayPal. Maybe we could switch them over to something else or talk about PayPal loans or expensive stuff. We could go through, do the same thing on error doc, right like this, and boom, here we go. Very simple. We could see he has about 27,000 keywords. So there's quite a few different things he has here, which is pretty cool. And it's all about errors and different things like that. And a lot of this stuff gets quite a bit of traffic, like this Xfinity one or Yahoo Mail or all kinds of different things like this. That's actually pretty easy. And now, one of the hidden features of SEMrush that I absolutely love and the reason I still have my account after years is that it shows you a competitive ranking right at a glance. So we can see position changes. We can see some keywords up here that are actually pretty darn good for different virus things. And then we could go through and we could scroll down here and see the competitive positioning map. What the heck is this? Well, the competitive positioning map is going to show you different sites in this market that are doing the same thing. So what you wanna do is start with your seed word, find some competitive sites, put them in, find the other competitive sites, and come up with a master list of keywords that are under 50 KD that you know you can rank for very easily with a new website or expired domain name that's around the same topic that you could start to build out. And this, is actually pretty easy. You see, the problem with SEO is that far too many people are going for competitive words because they're obvious. And when things are obvious, it tends to lead towards break even or really, really competitive because everyone's doing the obvious stuff. But if you go through the back door, you're gonna find all kinds of traffic that you can rank for right now and start seeing results super fast. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our big list of non-competitive keywords. You should have a list of like 50 or 100 words or more. And they should all be very low competition, under 50, under 30 if you wanna get ranked really fast. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna plan our attack, okay? Our attack is going to be how we are going to get ranked. Now, there's several things we can do. If we're using an expired domain website, what we're going to do is we're going to fill in all the pages that have backlinks and go for the keywords and everything that we found and the keywords that they used to rank for. What we're going to do is we're going to use a WordPress blog, which you could set up over at gohubsite.com. It'll take you like five, 10 minutes to set this up. It's actually really easy. And then you just follow the structure and make it work. Now, if we're using a new domain or a domain that does not have a lot of rankings on it, what we're gonna wanna do is set up different posts for each of the keywords that we want. And again, you can watch my video on how to outsource the articles and everything, and it'll make it really easy. Now, if you have keywords that are a 50 that you really, really want, what we're gonna do is we're gonna use our jogger method. All right, the jogger method is actually pretty easy, or it's also known as the booster method. And what we're gonna do with the booster method booster is we're going to go and we're going to get sites that are really popular that we know we can rank for and we're going to put unique content on those sites so for example i could go over to medium.com and i can make an article about my keyword maybe something like article for uh you know the norton error or whatever it is okay very simple or the bail bonds or whatever and on our medium article we are going to link back to our blog, okay? What this is gonna do is it's gonna get you traffic from Medium to your blog. It's also gonna show Google, hey, Medium is linking to this guy, so this blog must be important about whatever keyword. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing with other stuff. Maybe you could go out there if you have a really good keyword you want and get some YouTube traffic. Or maybe you could go out there and you could get traffic on different article sites, article, right? Or you could go out there and you can do a press release if there's a keyword that you want 
that has lots of traffic that you think you can get, but it's a little too competitive for a brand new site. And when you do this, it's extremely easy to do. Far too many people overlook this, but I am always, all the time, going out there and getting low comp keywords in a really easy way, just like the Newegg affiliate program one. I mean, it only gets like a couple hundred visitors a month, but that is super, super targeted traffic that we want. And what you're gonna notice, targeted, uh, what you're gonna notice is that most websites that you find have a lot of waste, right? If you go to a website that's about like how to take care of your pet, they're gonna have like rankings for like funny birds in England which we don't want that traffic because I don't care who's looking up funny birds in England. I want people who are like, why is my parrot not talking? Or why does my cockatoo have a hurt foot? Or whatever it is, right? We want very specific things that are going to make us money. And if you focus on this method to go for non-competitive keywords that your other competitors are already getting, and the only words you want are the ones that are gonna make you money, then you will be able to build this up in a super easy way. And when using your SEM keyword tool, you wanna go through and you wanna use that competitive positioning map because that's what's gonna show you all the gold that's hidden, right? Like this one here, they got like 7,800 competitors and we can go through and we can find keywords all day long till we're blue in the face. We can use this pronged method of going out there and getting traffic from various sites if it's a competitive word or just creating content on our own site if it's a non-competitive word and going through and starting to make this stuff work. Now again, remember, Rome wasn't built in a day. You're probably got, not going to rank overnight, but some of these things will get picked up and start getting you traffic. And the key is to build an approach and have a whole planned attack where you're going out there and you're building on what you did the day before. And over time, if you have a hundred different blog posts ranking that are all getting you three visitors a day, that's 300 visitors a day or 10,000 visitors a month. And this is gonna start to grow exponentially and you're gonna start to see that hockey stick curve that is going to build your site up. And again, what I wanna do is I wanna focus on how do I make these three keywords make me as much money as possible. I'm not going for volume, I'm going for quality. What is the quality of words that I want that I can make money off of and how can I use my SEM rush and my tool to use this with trigger words and competitive analysis and everything like that. And when you put all this together, you can start to build these really fast. Now, I hope you enjoyed this video. Smash the like button, subscribe, and check out the other video that's gonna pop up here that's all about expired domain names. It's very important. Watch that, binge watch my stuff, and learn to make money. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.